brush, brush, brush your teeth, brush with mom and dad, underneath and in between, brush the gems away. Bob, now how many times are we supposed to change our brush? At the end of each three months. Trixie, how many times are we supposed to brush our teeth? How many times? Two times a day. Hello beautiful people, my name is Dr. Tewa, your favorite dentist. In collaboration with Pepsodent Ghana, today we are at Prince Court International School, located in Tema, Ghana. We're here to give a dental talk to the kids. Let's get it. Today we are here to teach you how to maintain a good oral hygiene. So there are four things we are going to talk about today. The first is to brush your teeth twice daily. The second thing is to cut down on your sugary intake or your sugary foods. The third is to maintain a healthy lifestyle. And the fourth is to visit your dentist regularly. So I'm going to touch on each of these four topics today. You're supposed to brush your teeth twice daily with a soft or medium bristle toothbrush and a fluoride containing toothpaste like... Good! So the reason why we don't use a hard toothbrush is that if you use a hard toothbrush, it will damage your teeth and your gums. So you realize that your gums will start to move away from your teeth and your teeth too will start to have some tiny cavities on them. So we don't use a hard brush to brush our teeth. We are supposed to use a soft or a medium, a medium bristle toothbrush. And we use a fluoride containing toothpaste like Pepsodent. It's a very good toothpaste because the fluoride in the toothpaste makes our teeth strong so that when the germs produce acid in our mouths, the acids cannot damage our teeth. That's why it's very important that we use a fluoride containing toothpaste like Pepsodent. Good. So the other thing I want to talk about is cutting down on your sugar intake. When you take a lot of sugar, especially um, the drinks and the chocolate, and you don't brush your teeth, there are some um, gems in your mouth. There are these bags. They like sugar. We call them sugar bags. When they're in your mouth, they like to eat the small sugar that is left in your mouth. When you, you wake up in the morning, tell mommy, ah, mommy, I can't eat my jollof. Ah, mommy, I can't eat my fish. That means that the sugar bags have produced so much acid that they've caused small holes in your mouth that have become bigger. You are at a high risk of getting caca. You know caca? Yeah. How many of you have gotten caca before? What's your name? Abiel. Abi Abia, when you got the caca, how was it? It was painful. Oh, and what happened? Then it went. And it went, I see. Another name for caca is to decay. Say after me, to decay. We need to live a healthy lifestyle. When I say healthy lifestyle, I mean, for instance, if you are the type who engages in a lot of contact sports, like football, basketball, anything that will require you to move around that accidentally can hit into somebody. We call it contact sports. If you engage in contact sports, you need to get something we call a mouth guard. So you realize that a lot of basketball players, how many of you watch basketball? Good. So a lot of basketball players like Steph Curry, Michael Jordan, all those people, they wear mouth guard when they are playing sports. So that if they fall down or if somebody elbows them, their teeth don't break. You need to visit your dentist at least once every six months. That is twice a year. How many of you are ready to learn how to sing the Pepsi Dance song? I will sing it so that you will listen to it for the meantime. And afterwards, we will all sing it together. Okay? Brush, brush, brush your teeth every day and night. Up and down and all around. Brush them clean and bright. Brush, brush, brush your teeth. Brush with mom and dad. Underneath and in between, brush their gems away. So it goes like, underneath and in between, brush their gems away. Clap for yourselves. So can we do the two stanzas all together now? Can we do all the two stanzas all together now? Good. Brush, brush, 
brush your teeth every day and night. Up and down and all around. Brush them. Brush, brush, brush your teeth. Brush with mom and dad. Underneath and in between. Brush their gems away. Clap for yourselves. Can someone come and then sing it for us? Who's coming? Okay, okay. My lady. Brush, brush, brush your teeth every day and night. Up and down and all around. Brush it clean and bright. Brush, brush, brush your teeth. Brush with mom and dad. Underneath and in between. Brush the gems away. Abia, show us what you've got. Brush, brush, brush your teeth every day and night. Up and down and all around. Brush and clean and bright. Brush, brush, brush your teeth. Brush it, mom and dad. Underneath and in between. Brush the gems away. Good job, up for now that we know how to sing the song, I'm going to show you how to brush. So when it comes to brushing, you need your brush and your toothpaste. A very good fluoride containing toothpaste like... Good. So you first apply your toothpaste on your brush. Some of you, you use too much toothpaste. You spread plenty of toothpaste on your brush. Why? You don't need to spread too much toothpaste on your brush. All you need is a pea-sized amount of toothpaste. You have your upper teeth and your lower teeth. When you bring your teeth, when you bring your teeth together, when you are brushing, you are supposed to brush in circles. In what? Circles. You brush in circles to clean all your teeth when you bring your teeth together. When you open your mouth in a vertical manner and you brush behind the upper teeth, when it comes to your lower front teeth, you still hold it vertically, but you hold it this way. And you brush behind your lower front teeth like this. Can you see? The inner surfaces of your back teeth at the bottom too, you do the same thing. You see? You do this action to clean behind or the inner surfaces of the back teeth. When you are done, the chewing surface of your teeth, the part you use to chew the bread, the cake, and then the beans, and the gari, yes, you need to brush those areas. So you brush them normally, like how you brush, you brush those teeth. You brush those surfaces like this. Can you see? Yes. Can you see? You brush on the chewing surfaces of your teeth. This should take you two minutes to brush your teeth. So when I say two minutes, this side of your mouth, you spend 30 seconds. This side of your mouth, 30 seconds. This side of your mouth, 30 seconds. This side of your mouth, 30 seconds. That makes it two minutes. That's the number of minutes you use to brush your teeth. And when you're done brushing your teeth, you're supposed to clean your tongue. A lot of you forget to brush your tongue. When you are done brushing your teeth, you think that is it. And then you go and eat your, you go and drink your house of cocoa, isn't it? Uh, but now you have to, you remember that you have to clean your tongue. Your tongue is like a sponge. It, it picks up a lot of food debris and gems. If you don't brush your tongue, your mouth would smell. So it's very important that you brush your tongue. When you are brushing your tongue, you don't brush your tongue in any haphazard motion. No. You take the brush to the back and you push it to the front. You can also use a tongue scraper to clean your tongue. You remember what I showed you earlier on, the dental floss? This one, you, can, you remember this one? There's another one that looks like this. Yeah, so you can either use this or this one to clean in between your teeth. That's where a lot of the food goes to hide, and that's where the gems also go and hide. So this is how to brush your teeth, brush your tongue, and clean in between your teeth. Okay, let's ask your question again. After eating, how long does it take to brush your teeth? Excellent. This is a very, very important question. He's asking that after eating, how long should it take before you brush your teeth? When you finish eating, you have to wait for at least 30 minutes before you brush your teeth. The reason is that whenever you finish eating, your mouth becomes very acidic. So if you try to brush your teeth, you're going to brush the acid all over your teeth and you weaken your teeth. So it's important that whenever you finish eating, Wait for at least 30 minutes before you brush your teeth. Gerald, why is brushing two times important? I want to know me, I don't know. Teach me. To brush the gems away. 
to brush the gems away. Clap for him. Trixie, how many times are we supposed to brush our teeth? Two times. How many times? Two times a day. How many times? Two times a day. Do you agree with her? Yes. Pamela, how many times are we supposed to change our brush? At the end of each three months. Pamela says at the end of each three months. Do we agree? Yes. You agree? Go for Pamela. <laughs> the hard tooth brush is a very good brush. True or false? What? False. Why is a hard brush not a good type of brush? Because when you use it on your teeth, it might hurt your teeth. Cool. Clap for him. What's your name? I'm Daisia. Daisia. Daisia, what class are you in? I'm in Form 1. Form 1, I see. What do you learn today? I learned that we should be brushing our teeth twice a day. Twice daily? Yes. What, what should we use to brush our teeth? We should use Pepsodent. A good toothbrush. Good, good, good. And how often should we visit our dentist? We should visit our dentist at least six months. Good, good. Good job. Thanks. Well done. My name is Michael. What's your name? My name is Esina Marikouoni. Okay, what do you learn today? I learned the courses of tooth decay. You learn the courses of tooth decay? What are the courses of tooth decay? When we take to when we do, use the intake of sugary foods and some of the germs in our mouth get to absorb them into their tummies. They keep on producing acidic chemicals into our tooth and that is the causes of the holes in our tooth. And when we eat after that, we keep on feeling severe pains in our tooth. Good, good. Well done. Is it important that we should clean our tongue? Yes. Why is it important that we clean our tongue? Our tongue is the most essential part of the mouth. If we don't brush our tongue, our mouth will smell and people will not like to get closer to us. Great, good job. Give it bro, what do you want? What's your day? I'm here for coffee Joy. Okay, what do you learn today? I learned that we should brush our teeth twice daily. Mm -hmm. Why should we brush our teeth twice daily? Why is it important? Because the food that we take in, if you don't brush them, the gems are weak. They stay in our mouth, which creates cavity in our teeth. Okay. Which is bad for our health. Great, great. What about our snacks? Should we be snacking all the time? No. Why should why can't we snack all the time? Because why you snack all the time? The truth the gems and stuff that we take in get stuck in our teeth. Mm. When we snack between meals, that's really a bad habit. Good, well done. Good job. You did very well. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Kobina. Kobina, what, what class are you in? I'm in class 6A. Class 6A. What at all did you learn to do? I learned that we must learn to keep our teeth clean using Pepsodent toothpaste. Cool. What else can we do to keep a good oral hygiene? By brushing our teeth daily. Day and night. Great. And is it important that we floss our teeth? Yes. Why should we floss our teeth? Those sitting at your, your friends at home that don't know about the dental floss, they want to know why should we even floss our teeth? In case there's meat or a small stuff stuck in, your, in between your teeth, you can floss your teeth to move that meat so, you, so that your teeth stay clean. Good. Good job. Well done. Upon this note, by the power vested in me, by the director, I will change the school band to learn it. And from time to time, when we get that guy, he will start. To the point in the same chorus, we say uh, we thank you very much. Uh, you have taken us away from the classroom boredom and you have let us laugh, stretch ourselves, stretch our brains. And we hope, as I told you, secretly. Now, security man, when you see Dr. Ria coming, don't come and ask me permission before you allow him to come. Maybe you see him opening the doors. And if no security man is there, you can jump. Eh? Because when you came here, you didn't come to my office. Here. They took you to the director's office. That is the way that the doors and windows are all open. And even if you don't have the doors and windows open, you just get ladder and climb and descend. You, are, you and your team are welcome. Will you do us honor to receive this one, Prince of Queen Ivy, for what you have done for us? We say thank you and I need to
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a thing or two. Please do well to follow me on all my socials, Dr. Ewa, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and tap on the bell icon so you don't miss any of my episodes. Catch you on the flip side.